that we have gathered here with you, Quentin and Kayla, to witness and celebrate this marriage covenant. We want to just extend a welcome and a thank you for being a part of what's happening right here and what we're about to witness. I want to give you a sacred charge to each other. In light of your covenant to each other and to God, I want to talk to you about God's perspective on marriage and charge you both now to walk according to His design for your life. I charge you to protect your marriage at all costs, for it is the most sacred thing that you will have after today. Protect it emotionally in your heart, physically in your body, and spiritually in the commitments and covenants you make. Make sure any of those outside of this only obey the covenant itself. When the touch of God is on a union, it's the greatest expression of who God really is. It heals all wounds, all past, all hurts, all old things come together to be healed by the two that become one today in the sight of Jesus. Just as Christ and the church are one, you two today will be one. Your marriage is so much bigger than just the two of you. It is a tool that tells the world that there is a real God who desires real promise and real covenant with people. Quentin, you were sent by her dad. I have no doubt that he's looking down on us and smiling with immense pride. Quentin, you've always been a special child. Always smiling and always happy. You brought this young lady into our life. And God has sent you a woman of God. And I tell you, He has truly blessed you. I'm so proud of our family. We have a great family. To the bride and groom, may your life together always take you unexpected places. May your love for one another always bring you home. Congratulations to Kayla and Quentin.